Ben Horner for MBTV, here with Alan Ritib. Training's well underway now for pro debut. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good, really good, thank you, yeah. It's uh, been a hard session today, enjoyed it, plenty of rounds. So just excited, really. Since we last spoke to you, your laminates come through. It's all official now. Um, March the 4th is a little over a month away. Um, has that changed anything in your mind, you know, now looking forward to it? Getting the, like you say, getting the laminate through. I spoke to a few of the boys, they say it always makes it feel real. It's, it was a big, big day for me to, to get that through and just get the official, yeah, you're a professional boxer. Dream come true, like I say. I just can't wait for the fourth now. Got plenty of people coming, plenty of support, which I'm more than thankful for. And yeah, I can't wait to get it underway. We, we see you down your call Friday night, Ryan Walsh defending his British title. Yeah, yeah. Um, to hear the crowd like that, you know, um, do you feel you'll be bringing a an army with you and do you think they'll be getting behind you like they were down at your call? I'll tell you what, my the guys that follow me are just second to none. Ryan's fans are amazing. All of Walsh's boys are amazing, aren't they? But when my lot get going as well, they're just unreal. They'll be knocking the roof off, definitely. So, so we'll be we'll see a different St Andrew's Hall this this time round, you know, oh, it's gonna yeah, be like noisy. They'll be breaking the peace, that's for sure, yeah. Um Along with you, you've got Ryan Frost turning pro, um, got his laminate at the same time as you. And How's that, you know, to be training alongside another debuting? Oh, it's brilliant. It's, it's good for us both. I mean, our trainer, Ruff Smith, he's, he's happy, well happy to have us both. We're both at roughly the same weight, some good sparring, especially with Joe as well. So, And Ryan's class act, because he's a young, young kid as well. He's only 23, so he's, he's got a big future as well, Ryan. And it's brilliant to have him there to help me along. Looking in your division, um, I know you haven't made your debut yet. Um, is there anyone in your, out there in your division that you'd love to share the ring with? Oh, there's plenty. There's plenty <coughs> of people to aspire to fight. Any I'll, anyone, Graham and Russ tell me to fight, I'll fight them. Literally fight anyone. But there's the welterweight. I'm going to be a welterweight. So the welterweight division's amazing. And there's plenty of people in there for me to try and fight and get hold of. So is there any names out there? You know, any local lads at welterweight or anything that? Um, that would be a f would mean a lot to you, you know. Say in two years' time. Well, it's just everyone everyone looks to go up towards southern area and then British titles and things like that. But that's way in the future. So anyone at that level, I'd be a privilege to box. It really would. So keep your eyes out, um, Alan Ritib, uh, fourth of March, fourth of March at St Andrews Hall Shamrock Promotions. Um, yeah, exciting times ahead. Brilliant. Thanks for your time. Thank you. and <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,